early years were busy. We had three little kids and I remember staying up late many nights researching for answers. The first time we called Inclusion Alberta was when we tried to access services for Hannah and we were denied. Being denied access to school didn't make any sense to us as our, our, our older children were both already in that community school. From kindergarten to grade 12, Hannah was in her regular community school and she was also enrolled in her regular classes. Having Inclusion Alberta walk with us through the years has given us confidence and to help be her voice. Now that Hannah's at McEwen, it's opened a new world in our eyes as well that from this point, this is a jump off point now for Hannah in her life. We have a responsibility to every citizen to offer them every opportunity that we can. And that when we're looking at students with special needs, that you, through using Inclusion Alberta and the supports that you offer, um, you make it possible for these young people to have the same opportunities that other Canadian youth have. And I think that's a really important thing. Hannah is an example of what's possible. She works hard to be in my classroom and she does the reading and she does the quizzes and she is engaged with the information. I'm taking Bachelor of Child and Youth Care at McEwen University. When I got accepted, I got a phone call from Inclusion Alberta. It felt awesome. The best thing about university is making connections with people and having more freedom and independence. She's very hardworking and knows her stuff, and so she's been a very valued voice in our classes. She always has very insightful things to say. So being in a group with Hannah, like she has so many ideas and she's always so prepared and like way more prepared than I am for class. She's always interested, she's curious, always asking questions of what you're doing, what your interests are, and you know, it feels really good to have somebody care that much. Without Inclusion Alberta, I think Hannah's life would be a lot less fulfilling. I think that she would not have had the same opportunities to follow her dreams. So tell us, Davey, what is your job title? Henry, data technician. So what Davey does uh, here at Geologic is he um, he registers raster logs. I was excited when I was told there was a potential job. Before, I would stay home and that sucks. So when Davey first came on board, one of the concerns that I did have going in was, you know, how much additional time would have to be devoted to, to you know, making sure he's doing okay. And those concerns honestly went away right away. There was tremendous support from Inclusion Alberta. Davey uh, getting a job and uh, giving him a purpose in life. The little things that we take for granted, like dressing up, taking the train, working in an office environment, it's a pretty big deal. It gives him a purpose. He feels like uh, he's contributing in the community. It gives him pride. My life is better because of working at Geologic. I can go out for drinks and a restaurant. Can pay my visa bills. Uh, Inclusion Alberta and the Rotary Employment Partnership have been very helpful in providing support for our managers and also for Davey to make sure that it's been a good and effective partnership. And we find that people with developmental challenges like that are often more committed and, and more energized by the work. For Inclusion Alberta, helping Davey is life-changing. I wouldn't have found this job if it wasn't for Inclusion Alberta and the Rotary Employment Partnership. To job seekers with a developmental disability, never give up hope. I really wanted Ethan to be included in regular school because I had seen the difference, had seen both ends and what the differences were. I was quite shocked, to be honest with you, because I thought I had, you know, the background as an attorney and then the background practicing in special education and getting kids successfully included. And then here I was with my own child, and I couldn't do it. It was very difficult to accept. I tried on my own through talking to the school, writing letters to the superintendent. I got nowhere. It was just, no, we cannot. It makes you feel about this big, right? It makes you feel like you're not important, like your family isn't important, like all that's being seen is a diagnosis. I'd accepted 
that I didn't have a choice but to put Ethan in a segregated setting, and that's when I reached out to Inclusion Alberta. That's where it became a bigger conversation about what kind of life do you want for Ethan. That's, that's when we really started having hope. We knew that we were going to make a difference. It wasn't easy. There were things that we needed to kind of identify as our blind spots. Working with Ethan, we've just seen him grow so much and it's been so exciting. We're just so proud of him. It's just been um, a great opportunity to be able to work with somebody with such high needs and to see such growth. I believe if I didn't have all of the access to the supports that I have been provided with this year, um, with Inclusion Alberta, it would be challenging. He has relationships now. High fives everywhere, big smiles. I want to see him happy. I don't want him just to be seen as a child, a, a man with autism. I want him to be seen as Ethan first. Everybody should have the right to be included and be a part of a community. We know that Inclusion Alberta does good work, and we know that uh, without the donations of people, that there's a lot of people that don't get the help that they need. We all belong. We all have an obligation to support each other, and that only through the acceptance of who we are as individuals will we create a better community for all. My future would not be as bright without the help of Inclusion Alberta. When we did it on our own, it was no, emphatically no, until Inclusion Alberta um, stepped in to help and did so willingly. I was, I was so, I am so grateful 